As the GOP struggles to court the Hispanic vote, the party's now relying on a shadowy duo to help bridge the divide. It's no secret Hispanics are among America's fastest growing demographics. Su gente que trabaja, y aquí estamos para representar a toda esa gente. One that continues to build its way in Washington, and one that typically shuns the GOP, something that's made Republicans hungrier than ever for their vote. There's no doubt that long term, the growth of the Hispanic vote, which continues to grow, will make a big difference in national elections. As recently as 2004, Hispanic voters were roughly split in party preference. President Bush's re-election bid took 44% of the Hispanic vote. But eight years later, President Obama won 71%. It was an electoral disadvantage some in the Republican Party are convinced lost them the White House in 2012. The Republican Party needs to do something about it and do something quick. Fearing a slippery slope, conservatives are putting big money behind recipes to bridge the gap. Charles and David Koch money. The billionaire brothers are putting millions behind the Libre Initiative, an organization subtly pitching conservative ideals in between health checkups, English lessons, and courses helping Spanish speakers earn high school diplomas, not to mention stuff like this. A group is collecting donations to comfort the tens of thousands of those children being held by Border Patrol right now. Libre now has operations in eight states with some 3,000 volunteers supporting Hispanic voters. And they're not the only ones. Big name Republicans are eyeing Latin America with more diligence than ever before. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie is visiting Mexico next month. Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker wants to open up a first ever Mexican consulate in his state. And Kentucky Senator Rand Paul is about to head down to Guatemala to treat local patients with eye disorders. People like uh, Lindsey Graham say there ought to be a path to citizenship for the immigrants who are in this country right now. Would most Republicans agree with that? I'm not sure about that. It's all savvy and overdue outreach, but something that may run into a wall, thanks to other party members unleashing legislation to rein in illegal immigration. It's probably why the Libre Initiative is trying to turn the conversation to Democrats' health care law. Well, we'll get a good idea if the Koch brothers' investment is paying off come November during the midterm elections. <laughs>